Happy Monday, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is Monday, February the 15th, and this says it's cloudy today. It's currently 37 degrees. The high will be 48. I bet y'all wish you could say that. And I'm so sorry for those of you who are going through terrible ice storms and snow and getting all that. Power outages, bless your hearts. I did ask for prayer, and I pray that people are praying. I'm praying for you to get your power back on quick, Tessa, and also the people over in Oregon. Okay, so I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of people without prayer. I'm so sorry, I don't mean that. Without power. Okay. I frequently do that, if you haven't noticed. I use the wrong word all the time. Well, at least once a video. <laughs> I just can't help it. You know, I've been calling my dog all kind of names. <laughs> Let's start with Jay. It's terrible. Jesus needs to hurry up and come. <laughs> I just laugh about it. I called him Jason this morning. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, come quick. <laughs> I'm calling my dog all kind of names. Nice ones, but, you know... <laughs> J name Jackson. I called him Jackson like three times. I was like, where does that come from? I don't know any Jackson. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the good stuff. All right. Here is a video. I, you got to listen to it if you want to. It's on the channel, The Lord is My Shepherd. And normally, uh, I would go to well, I actually did go to 444 Prophecy News to look this up so I could read it to you. It is a prophetic message given to Julie Webby. And I know she sounded like she missed it a couple years ago or four years ago, whatever. But all the ones I've heard from her in this last year, you know, they just sound... When, you, when it touches your spirit... And it sounds, you know, it's not date setting or Jesus saying, yeah, he says I'm coming soon. He says I'm coming. Um, I'm at the door. Well, he is in his timing. His timing is not our timing. But I don't think she ever set dates as far as I know. All right. This is called The Beast Rises, dash, but I am your breath of heaven. Uh, February 13th, 2021, from Julie Wedby. I started to put it up yesterday, but uh, I don't remember why not. Oh, yeah, I had a bad day yesterday. I slept a lot. I don't know why, but anyway, on the channel, the Lord is my shepherd, and um, I listened to it then, and we went over it on the team last night, or it might have been the night before, the 13th, probably was the 13th, but um, at any rate, I'm sharing it now, and it'll be very encouraging to you, and I pray that all of you, all of you have come to know Jesus as your Savior. You know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. And the rest of you, I believe, are first fruiters. Can I say it that way? First rounders. You're going first. We're coming back. And we are going to have our heavenly armor on and our heavenly boots and we're going to kick some demon butt. Can I say that? I think so. We're going to be casting out demons and doing some heart healing on people that need it. Most people do and don't even realize it. You got to get your heart healed and get delivered of demons and get holy to go to heaven. See, a lot of people won't believe in that. They think, oh no, Christians. I was that way. 
I was that way until my last husband, number three, and I got married. We started out going to his little messianic Jewish They were playing church. The guy was trying. He was a Jew from New York, and he converted to Christianity, and he was so excited about it, he said he felt led to start a Jewish, a Messianic Jewish church in, in Anniston, Alabama. Okay, not quite as big as down here in Birmingham. Not near as big, but it, it was... Uh, sizable, you know, could have had plenty of members, but didn't have enough to really support him. Although he had his own bagel shop um, that he had, what he did in New York, he started down here. Anyway, I don't know how I got off on that, but uh, oh yeah, I was getting nothing out of it. It was all ritualistic, reading from the Torah doing things like the Jews did and then we ate Jewish food and I honestly I got nothing out of it and they told me I was going to have to start bringing the dish and here I was newly married trying to deal with a 14 year old stepson in college full time and having an illness that made me already so tired I could hardly even be there you get what I'm saying, and now they're telling me I got to cook a dish, a Jewish dish. I got to learn how to cook a Jewish dish. I probably could have, you know, learned how to make them latkes and took them and potato pancakes. Tommy said he made the best ones ever. He could have done it. Well, anyway, that's <laughs> that's all neither here nor there and all under the, bro all the water under the bridge. Let me shut up so you can get a look in the description box for the Lord is my shepherd. If you can't find the description box, if you're on a cell phone or a tablet, if it's like mine and you're on YouTube, you go over to the to the right underneath the picture and there should be a little black arrow and you click on it. And it drops down a box, and that's your description box. See, that's where you find your links and all the stuff I put in the description box. Okay. I love you all. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. I know people are having problems with them right now because of the outages. And most likely a lot of you can't even see this or um, send an email or whatever. But let us all just say a general prayer for everybody. It, having power outages right now, okay? Let us pray that they get restored immediately. There's nothing our Father cannot do, our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There's nothing they cannot do. So, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you would get their power restored this morning. In Jesus' name, I pray you're going to have to send more power to people and give them renewed strength and energy. We ask this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen and amen. I'd like to show you my art thing before we go. Um, I'm, I still have a little touching up to do. Oh, there, you can see it. It's two canvases. And a clock in the middle. I still have to add numbers. To touch up a little bit. Uh, of the paint. There's a little chipping in here and there. And I want to add a little more red. But I'm like. Oh I just can't deal with it right now. 
it was so hard to get that up there <laughs> straight. And now when I pray and I look up, see, this is representative of Kathy's vision. Two of them, of us going outside of time when we leave. And we go through a wall of color. So it reminds me of when we go through that wall of color, we get our glorified bodies and start the learning process. I hope we get to hug Jesus and have a little party first. I'm sure he'll let us. Because, see, time for us will stop. And we may be outside of time for what would seem like two weeks or a month for us. And he could put us right back where we left. Or he could put us back in the past. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. I thought I heard him tell me that because I don't see how I came up with it. Who says we... you we? Who says you can't be put back in the past? It, that's how I heard it in my thoughts. And I wasn't even thinking about going outside of time. And when we're brought back, I was pretty much crying and mourning these people getting their vaccinations. And I was just sad. I was so sad. So I don't think that was my thought because I don't think I would have ever thought of that. And I mentioned it to Kathy and the team, and she was like, wow, I never thought of that. But yeah, he could sure do it. God can do anything. See, if he could bring us outside of time, and we're out like 14 days or a month getting our instructions and everything. And then we're brought back. And it's like we never left. But we're glorified. Or it may be like a month. I don't know. We don't know. There are things we don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us everything. But it's going to be wonderful. What we see won't be wonderful. Remember Psalm 91? Though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right, it shall not come near me. And the whole psalm is like, how we'll be protected. An angel will lift me up lest I dash my foot against a stone. We're going to do great exploits. Jesus had said, greater things than these will you do. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Brand new body, about 30 years old. Yeah, but that's not what I care about. I care about saving lots of souls. I hope so much we come back in the past. Oh, Lord, you don't know how much I want that. And what I hope we can do. I end it here. Love you all. I'll talk to you later.